Uh, Stephanie's going to get quinoa right now. Yep, I'm doing a Cinco de Mayo protein bowl. Just gave me my glasses because she's great. She remembered I need those. Yeah, you leave them in my car all the time. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm See going you fishing. later this evening. I hope so. You hope so. Unless I get eaten by an alligator. Well, please don't. I'm heading to the river. Taking a break from trying to catch bass. You know, we were with those guys from the UK the other day. Uh, Alex and Carl. You guys can check out their channel. They have some really good content on carp fishing in the, uh, in the UK. But the deal with those guys is they cannot shoot carp. Carp in their part of the world, I guess they're non-invasive species. They're a, a regular common species. They said if they uh, mishandle a carp or ever shoot a carp over there, it's like uh, you're going to jail or something, something to that effect. You're losing your job. Here in the United States, we've got carp running amok. They're not supposed to be here. They usually spawn this time of year. There's tons of them. Uh, I've seen them here lately go into these uh, spawning areas and just thrash around the bass freaking hate them they come in there and they get huge um, and they stir up the water and uh, stir up the eggs and everything like that so they're not supposed to be here there's no limit on them uh, you could basically just shoot them and leave them there if you want uh, a lot of people use them uh, for other things though they use them for alligator gar bait or you know some people actually use them to make dog food and some people actually eat them. I've never had carp. Don't really plan on it. I've also got an ultralight rod with me in case any sort of fish are moving around and they need to be caught. Also just to address something I've seen in the comments quite a bit lately with the uh, other big YouTuber Simone. Uh, bless her little heart. She has got a brain tumor. Instead of on her left side she's got it behind her eye on the right side which is like the exact same thing I had. Uh, if you haven't watched her video, know about her channel, I'll leave it down below. I'll probably end up doing a, um, a whole encouraging video for her and uploading it just because it, I watched her video that was titled the same as mine and kind of, uh, well, it brought back a ton of memories actually. So anyway, I know you fishing freaks that follow her have been telling me to go, go check it out and uh, give her some encouragement. I've done that uh, through comments. I'm trying to get a hold of her uh, directly but anyway I'll save the rest for another video we'll try to get a hold of her and, and just give her a bunch of encouragement but just want to let you guys know that right now <laughs> I've got something for you strawberry oh get them in your belly get them in your belly this is a uh, ocean spoon go oh my god they're good right ocean spoon go hand-picked that's what I'm talking about this needs to come off of here. Okay, so we are actually compiling, composing a boat to go fishing. Already strung it up. Um, now we gotta put our bottle mount on there. Allen wrench, you always need Allen wrench when you're working with bow stuff. 387 uh, European slosh wrench. Good number. Bottles on, strings on, biscuits on, everything's on, just gotta put the string and we'll be good to go. I wonder who said uh, we need to put this floppy thing on here. Make it real long. Not me. I think it's time for a little uh, a little test pump. I mean that's what do you think? I think it's pretty good, honestly. As long okay. as the super goes dry. Oh yeah. 100 percent good? 100 percent all right, ladies and gentlemen, we got our bows, we got our rods, we got our good attitudes, and we are got our aim. Anything else you want to add that we got? This isn't rigged. It will be. Always ready. I know there's a white bass or two in there. <laughs> As always, let's go get some fish. We are finding these Easter eggs like, everywhere. They have little, hey, this one's got a starburst. There's another one with some bubble gum. Okay, kids, um, don't eat random candy that you find that are inside of eggs. You never know what's in there. I'm gonna let that go, but it's a nice thought, nice surprise. I love starburst, that's my favorite flavor actually, but I'm gonna refuse. 
trash or is that somebody living there? I think I, I think I saw the guy that's living there up on the bridge earlier. Really? Yeah. He's definitely, this is his home for sure. He's up there right now? Yeah. Right now he's up there? No, oh, I mean like up on the main bridge. Okay. He's, he's running his routes. We're out here in a place where uh, people that have either through tough life circumstances or just poor decisions have decided to live down here under the bridge. Heart goes out to them actually, kind of feel bad. People sleep down here every night, that's what it looks like. There's little tents set up and everything. I don't see any bass, but there's bluegill in here. Keep my eyes peeled for people walking down here. You never know if someone's on PCP or something. They may uh, they come over and they may say hello or they may not want to say hello. They may just come at you and think they're Superman and think you're the evil Lex Luthor. I'm not Lex Luthor. I'm just a fisherman. Ah, so, there used to be water here. We're doing dam work down there. Should we uh, maybe look for dinosaur bones or? I, I'm gonna go take a look at some of this water over here. All right, me. that sounds like a better idea probably. Rocking shell. Oh yeah, three and a half inch magnum. Actually, that's not, that's here. fingernail polish. Oh, so, I like where your head's at though. Oh, here's a dead carp. Found one of those. It's one place I don't feel bad spitting my gum out. There's another one. Another, that was a gar actually. That was a gar that came up. Looks white. Looks yep. radioactive. He's ready. Pretty good size. Yep, coming up. There's two of them. Just under. Here, oh, I think I see him. Yeah, I see him. Right in front of the tire. It's right in front of the tire. I'm going to have to like get around the tire. He's coming out. There. Oh. All right, well, missed on my first shot. So hard to see in this muddy water. I aimed a little low, so I gotta, I gotta adjust on that. Let's see what this fish does. Just saw it moving. I think I see it right there. There it is. Just seeing the mud come up. Okay, I see it's back now. Just to the right. Should have waited till he went broadside. Carp are pretty skittish. They get grabbed by birds and everything else when they're little, just like other fish. So. They're used to keeping an eye up. Can't really tell. Holy crap, this is hard. I don't know. That was a stick, for sure. For sure, just a stick, no worries. Am I missing out on a good survival tip right now? No. Got movement. Sneak up really slow. Gosh, dang it. Spooked two off right there. Okay, I'm not doing so hot on my arrow game today. What in the world? Not so good beyond that, huh? Well, that was a good learning experience. I feel bad for you. I feel like taking a hose and just, just washing you down. I think I need to go to the doctor after this and get tested for hep C or something. Yeah. Oh. Hello. There's a little snake right there. Check that out. Oh, bit me. Whoa, he bit me again. That is not a friendly snake. Well, after a nice sweaty walk down the river, some wet boots now, uh, it is time to go home with nothing. Rob has got to go wash off. He got just soaked up into mud. Uh, you can go check it out on his channel. I'm sure it's real nice. All right, let's, uh, let's touch elbows. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to touch uh, taking the pants off. Yeah, there's there's a whole lot of stuff going on here. It also happens to be one of the warmest days of the year. Smoothie worthy. Just making it home, my boots are filthy muddy. I can't track mud into LFD's house. These boots like this. Stephanie called me back to do some more of this home stuff. <gasps> I hope this stuff is almost over, but I've got to take a shower and I feel bad for Rob. He got the absolute worst of it, going like waist deep into the mud. It's freaking nasty. So did Steve. He went in that right after him. I stayed behind. I was clever. OSG. Hard at work in here. Yeah, you literally hard work classes. Yeah. How do I look? Oh, I, I, I dig <laughs> it. I'm into it. You called me or you sent me a text of something awesome today. 
some food. I'm starving. I didn't get Chick-fil-A literally because I was thinking she has something and I'm allowed to eat it. Yes, it's a Cinco de Mayo protein bowl. I've been looking at a lot of carb today, so I, I have burnt some calories. Okay, well baby loved it. Baby loved it? Has baby been kicking? <laughs> Baby's been kicking. A bowl. Okay, a bowl. A nice big bowl. Got it. Second. This is called what? All right, that's a quinoa. Quinoa with homemade like salsa mixed with roasted jalapeno and roasted garlic. Spice. Um, here's some steak that has been cooked in coconut oil so you get good healthy fats. Got some black beans. You got yourself half an avocado, some lime to drizzle on top. You made me breakfast, you made me lunch, you make my life. I did, didn't I? I just need you. <laughs> Here to feed you. This is the benefit of being married to a food blogger. She makes recipes, sometimes just for photos. Mm -hmm. She eats a little bit and then the rest goes to me. All right, I mean, we're gonna eat this and then I gotta do house stuff with you, right? Yeah. This is this the final step, maybe? I thought on it was the final step yesterday. The final step of one step of the process. Yeah. Hopefully we're gonna have something for you guys. At the end, this is all gonna be great news. During this, uh, the second trimester, You've been in such an eating and great <laughs> mood. I enjoyed it much better than the first trimester. The first trimester, was I moody? A little bit. They didn't see you very much on the camera, That's first true. trimester. I didn't feel very You, you didn't feel first, like the yeah. most in, on the camera mood, no, I, didn't. I would say. I feel like I need to boost your audio. Because I talk so softly. You talk like a mouse. You would have you really loved the park we were at today. Yeah, where did y'all go? Uh, it's right in the middle of downtown where there's lots of homeless people, snakes, dead fish, Is that why I uh, love it so much? trash. It's got all the elements of a nice little Sunday walk. Maybe someday, if you're real good, I'll take you down there and show you all the blue bonnets and the uh, the trash bottles and the oh, the crack. Pretty. The, my lucky day. The heroin needles and all that good stuff. Dang, that looks nice. I wish I had that every day I went hunting and fishing. You like it? One of the best things you've, had, you've made. Really? Yeah, dead serious. That's I could eat that like all day, every day. Sweet. All right, let's get this thing done. Look at the sad situation. <laughs> the freaking bass. Just sitting here in the corner next to Stephanie's protein bars. Oh. Dang, yeah. You got a bunch of them. I need to take some. So that is our life right now, literally. In this little apartment situation. Literally, like this is our apartment up here. Yeah. It's our working apartment. There it is. It's not bad, really, but it's basically our whole house into an apartment. <laughs> you know your party's extension. Dial it now. No, I don't. Please listen to all the options. A call is very important to us, so please continue hmm. to hold. One moment. Thank you. Well, that conversation was a doozy. We've got everything. In our por portfolio, ready to go. You think so? Please. Maybe. Pray for us, Jesus. Anyway, uh, she's going to make some rhubarb. On the bright something. side. Strawberry rhubarb. I got lots of jars for to, jammies. To make jams, literally. To make jams. Hunter gatherers. That should be our second channel. It's like hunter gatherers. We got airplanes flying over in hunter gatherville. That sounds real natural. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, another barn burner of a, a day out there on the water. My hope was I could go out with Rob and then we could do something different than the tough bass fishing. Turns out the bow fishing was tough too because they had blocked the dam off or something and the water was really far down and the fish were not in their normal positions with the clear water and everything. It turned out to be just like a giant sludge puddle. But I also suck at shooting so that's also part of what happened. I'm a decent archer when it comes to compound bow but shooting those arrows underwater fish kind of hard. I definitely need some work at it. But that is all I have for you on this adventure for today. Me and Ocean Spoon Girl, besides the pie making that's taking place, we're going to be going on a little adventure. I'm going to the high school bass championship for uh, for Texas fishing, which is crazy. There's like four or 500 boats that show up to this thing. Probably one of the largest tournaments in the country. And we are also due for a doctor visit, not for my brain, but for our little child's brain. That's right. I might get to show you guys some, some images of the baby. So stay tuned for more adventures, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, do you like videos that don't suck? Well, you're in the right spot. Point is, if you're used to watching regular fishing and hunting TV shows, this is not it. This is everything behind the scenes and more. So subscribe right here, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.